in our next data at all. Then I should see text. Text should be be had. So we have written one scenario over here. The main thing using BHAT is you need to tag your scenario with JavaScript tag. So um, I'll take that. And one more thing we need to do is uh, this feature context file generated by BHAT has uh, a lot of irrelevant code, so we need to remove that, that code. And keep our file is completely blank and we need to extend the file to link extension. So now you uh, you are almost done. You have written your feature files, feature file, uh, but you haven't uh, written single piece of, uh, single line of code. Now, If you run bin bhat, bhat command, then you will see the test thing in a browser. Also doing the same thing that we implemented there. It's going to uh, go into the blocks then searching for bhat. That is fast. Awesome. So in the same way, we can we can add one more scenario, like one more scenario for negative tests. I'm copying this. So now I'm searching for, say, for example, chips. Then I should see no posts. So in this way, you can write your uh, scenarios, feature parts, and get your automation done so quickly. So this, this awesome snippet has been uh, written by this guy, Chris, uh, whose GitHub is there, Twitter is there. So this is really helpful for the at community. Mm, yeah, we just did that. Basically, I forgot to mention one thing, like we need to we need to launch our Selenium server before running our tests because uh, it's using Selenium web driver as a main driver. Mm. We saw the test running in a browser. Then we got our test passed. Well, this is this is the case where your application is already implemented. You got your uh, application ready for automation. But what if you've got like a, a unimplemented applications like uh, you don't know about locators, what will be there, and something like that. So in this scenario, uh, first write a very high level tests, like uh, um, I would search for this and something like that, and then use the main KPI to automate that stuff. So, so we will write another feature file over there. I'll create a new feature. Now we 
we don't know what will be the locators and all this stuff. So, uh, so we will try the very high level, very high level step like when I when I search for B hat, then. that feature with the ATDD tag. So now the B hat does whatever it understood, uh, understood and the things which B hat didn't understood is like it didn't understand this particular state when I search for. So the idea is like uh, you need to implement this step definitions in your feature context file. So now Got. We need to write some piece of code over here to implement this step definition. What you need to do is uh, first of all, you need to fill fields. So all these are the link APIs. <coughs> implemented like we written very high level scenario and we implemented some step definitions over there. Oh. Okay, so idea is like when something not understood by BHAT, then BHAT uh, gives you options to like a, a, to write particular snippet of code. Let's check if it's passed or not. Yeah, it passed now. So we're done with this. Okay, so we can we can easily generate the HTML report with this. So. If you run the same command and just HTML, then import all HTML. So it will turn, it will turn the test and generate the HTML report in our folder. So probably HTML report. So this kind of HTML report you can see in a browser. So we can turn it down and so. It's a fairly readable and it will help any non-technical person to read uh, the test report for our test. So it looks like this. So now, uh, I think I'm running out of time here. So I'm just going to show you the my video. like. This, all the source code and everything is available on, uh, on GitHub. So I just want to show this quick video about uh, uh, the 
source code of all this stuff. Like, I haven't, I haven't got time to cover this uh, build.xml and uh, aren't how to run a build file using aunt and something like that. But yeah, so source code is there. So I'm cloning the repository now. So you will get all this uh, source code we just implemented right now. Mm. I think this is three minutes video, so you have to bear with me for the next three minutes. <laughs> so we downloaded the composer and we are installing the composer. <coughs> Basically, it, it takes time to download all the dependencies and all the stuff. But it is uh, it is a good way to uh, specify it in composer file, composer dot JSON file so that uh, whatever we require, like say for example PHP PHP unit or uh, something like that. So. are all the steps that we did previously. So now we got all the code uh, in our directory. Then we need to start the Selenium server. So now we just forward. Then we can, if you use the aunt and the run is the target name. So if you an aunt command then it will delete our existing report directory creating new one uh, running a test and generating the reports so reports generated is in, you know reports post directory look like this and I think I think that's it for now because I'm running out of time so thank you very much for hearing me and okay we'll just take a few minutes while we set up the next talk um,